way back in the day, like many, many thousands of years ago, humans used our wisdom teeth to chew through uncooked scavenged food, like roots, raw meat. Our ancestors' jaws were more pronounced, so the extra teeth, well, they fit and they were useful. Hey, I'm Gina. Thanks for watching Burst TV. I'm a dental hygienist and a proud Burst ambassador, and I'm here to answer your questions about wisdom teeth. Where are wisdom teeth and why do we even have them? Well, wisdom teeth are your third molars, wait, way back there. I don't have mine anymore, but if I did, they'd be behind my last teeth back here, one in each quadrant. I have a little tooth model. Do you see his wisdom teeth? There's one, there's the other one. They're stuck under his jaw. Our ancestors use these third molars, these extra molars, but nowadays we don't need a third set of molars. In fact, there are actually a lot of problems that can arise from keeping those wisdom teeth in our mouths. For most people, our now smaller jaws get in the way of us actually being able to clean way back there with a toothbrush or floss. This leads to tooth decay, gum infections, bad breath, or even pericoronitis, this condition where there's extra gum tissue gets really, really inflamed and so painful to the point of needing to get the area professionally cleaned and an antibiotic to resolve it. And if a wisdom tooth becomes infected, you might even experience jaw pain or problems with your temporomandibular joint or TMJ. So do you have wisdom teeth? You got these guys? How do you know if yours need to come out? You most likely won't be able to tell without the help of your trusty dental professional right here and x-rays um, whether or not your teeth need to come out, your wisdom teeth. And you definitely don't wanna wait till you have pain because that's a little late. You don't wanna wait till there's an emergency. It's not it's not too late to get them removed, but ideally you just, just go in for a checkup early before it becomes an issue. Just like a car, right? You go in for a regular maintenance that helps you to stay ahead of disasters and be able to keep driving your car. Who knows, when you go in to see your dentist, you might be one of the lucky, lucky few. You might be someone who never got wisdom teeth. I'm jealous. Or you might find out that you have your wisdom teeth, but if they're not causing problems currently, if you can keep them clean and they're in a good position in your mouth, you're good. They can stay. No extractions for you. Oftentimes you'll get a referral to an oral surgeon who can put you to sleep if you do really need to get them taken out. And other options also are sedation with a medication or nitrous oxide or the laughing gas. In our office, these are two options we give our patients when we do extractions here and all of them do great with the procedure. But again, if your dentist doesn't do wisdom teeth extractions or you wanna be put to sleep, you can go to an oral surgeon because that is a great option. Any preventive measures you can take? Depending on your situation, if you do need to get your wisdom teeth extracted, it's best to do it as soon as you can. The younger you are, easier, faster healing and recovery time. But there are actually some really cool developments in our industry, like blasting these teeth away before they even have time to develop. If you do want to learn more about that, click the link up here and Melissa will tell you all about it. Hope you learned something new today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, please like, subscribe to Bruce TV so you do not miss any new videos and I will see you next time.